Peace to all of you who love Jesus Christ. Today I want to talk about a very important topic. Uh, Satan is the author of confusion. And today there are many Christians that are confused about the truth of God. They are confused about how to find truth. Uh, how to identify truth. Uh, Satan makes sure that there are many deceptions. Uh, one man may read scripture and believe once saved, always saved. Another man may uh, read scripture and believe that uh, you can lose your salvation. So the question is, is if there are so many uh, viewpoints of view, how do you know which is true? This is a very important question and it, it, it is a question that Jesus Christ answered for us so that we don't have to guess, so that we are not left to our own understandings. Because if you are someone who is leaning to your own understanding of scripture, leaning to your own understanding of what is good, what is right, you will be destroyed because there is only one truth. There is only one way. And that way is Jesus Christ. And his way leads to life. And he told us how to find him. And I want to make this clear. It is not by reading the Bible. A lot of people believe that if they read the Bible, study scripture, study doctrine, that that will lead them to truth. <clears throat> that that will uh, somehow uh, lead them to salvation. Lead them that reading the Bible is having a relationship with God is seeking God. It's a good thing to read scripture. You know, the Holy Scriptures, uh, they were left as encouragement and guidance and, and for reproof and, and correction. But if you are reading scripture and you don't know Jesus Christ, you're doing it in vain. Let's uh, let, let's uh, look at scripture and, and, and see what Jesus Christ said about how to find truth. This is uh, John chapter 14, starting at verse 15. It says, if ye love me, keep my commandments and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. This is very clear and, and it is, it's very important that you understand this, that God's word is true. There is only one way to truth, to the truth of God, and his truth is the, the only truth. There is no your truth or my truth. It's only his way. And he told us right here that the way to uh, receive the spirit of truth is by keeping his commandments. And, and, and when you keep his commandments, then he will send you the comforter. He, he does not leave us to our own understanding, those that uh, surrender to him. But look what he says here in verse 17. Uh, Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. The world cannot receive the spirit of truth. What does that mean? That means that those that 
are not uh, keeping the commandments of God, those that love this world or the things in this world. The Bible says if you do that, that the love of the Father is not in you. So if you are someone who is a lover of this world and you are reading scripture, you are uh, seeking after God, you, you, you will not find truth. You will be confused. You will uh, find yourself not hearing the voice of God that leads to all truth. Let's jump down to verse 26. It says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. This is the way to truth. It's through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the only way that you will have understanding of anything that is spiritual. If you are someone who is trying to find understanding through study, apart from the Holy Spirit, you're only going to become more and more frustrated, more and more confused, because God, he set it up uh, where you can only have his truth through his son, Jesus Christ. Christ. And Jesus Christ told us how we can have truth, how we can find him is by a complete surrender to him, to his word and, and uh, denying yourself, picking up your cross and following him, uh, hating your life in this world, separating yourself from this world. If you are someone who does not love your enemies Someone who is not humble, is selfish, not willing to uh, separate yourself from this world, to, to shut down uh, all of your ambitions, all of your desires, and, and, and truly surrender to God and seek Him as for a hidden treasure, you won't find the truth. You won't find the truth of God. You'll remain either confused or you'll you will believe a uh, a lie. You won't have a love for the truth. You'll you'll walk in deception, believing once saved, always saved, or or all of the many other deceptions that are in this world. Let's look at First John. This is chapter 2, verse 15, and I said this, uh, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And if the love of the Father is not in you, that means that the Holy Spirit is not in you. And the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of truth. It's Jesus Christ's spirit. And if you do not have his spirit, you will not be walking in truth. You will not have understanding or revelation from Jesus Christ. Let's look at 1 John chapter 2 verse 26 and 27. It says, These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you. That's the Holy Spirit. And ye need not that any man teach you. But as the same anointing teacheth you of all things and is truth and is no lie. And even as it have taught you, ye shall abide in him. See, what Satan wants you to believe is that you need a man to teach you. So when you uh, desire to have a relationship with God, the first thing most people will do is run to a church. 
they will uh, seek out man to uh, be taught by man, to, to try to receive understanding from man. But in today's time where uh, there are so many false Christ, so many false prophets and, and false teachers and deceptions, if you are going to man, most times you are going to walk into deception because Satan has it set up nice and pretty for you where uh, the church today really appeals to the flesh where, you know, they, they're telling you that, that uh, God's got a blessing with your name on it. And if you uh, follow Christ, all of the things in your life are going to come together. Uh, you're going to be successful. Your career is going to flourish. God saying that godliness is gain. But those that truly love Christ will suffer with Christ, will suffer persecution, will suffer tribulation. Yes, your God is a, a, a good God and, and he will meet your needs and you will uh, know joy like you've never known before. You will know peace like you've never known before. But it is not a uh, worldly joy. It is not because uh, you will uh, have all of the things that you want because when you truly are in Christ, things will not matter. The things of this world that are going to pass away, you will have true revelation that only the things of the kingdom of God matter. You will have revelation that building your treasure in Christ is true success, is true wealth, not uh, having your mind focused on this world or the things of this world that mean nothing. First, I wanted to expose this lie. It's good to read the Bible, but you have to understand that it is Jesus Christ who gives truth. It is not from you. It is not uh, your study. It is not your wisdom. It's not your knowledge. It's all from him. And if you are not willing to surrender to his way of receiving that truth, you'll never find it. Be blessed.